Did Botox make you feel full faster? Well, it's the breakthrough to suppress your appetite, says Dr. Tony Kalu, a gastroenterologist from Johns Hopkins Hospital. Botox to stop hunger. What do you inject it? Well, just like the facial wrinkles, you're injected to prevent uh, wrinkles in the face. In the stomach, in which we think a lot of hunger arises from that sense of feeling full, you inject it into the stomach. I want to remind you that it is an off-label use of Botox, so um, that's something to think about. Well, as these well. days, I think Botox is usually being used a lot off-label, but it is an <laughs> intriguing concept. I'd never thought of it, and I thank you for raising it uh, to our attention. If, if you could, you share with us some footage. Just walk folks through what this would actually entail. Sure. So essentially, what we do is we inject Botox into the stomach, and um, the as you can see on the footage here, there is a needle. Uh, that's uh, being used to inject the Botox. You can see the stomach is contracting as I inject. And as I continue along the injections, you'll see the contraction slow down, showing that the Botox is already starting to work, and uh, which is just very fascinating. And so what this results in is that the stomach, as you know, is uh, it's, it not only accepts the food, but it contracts and pushes the food along. So if the food stays in the stomach, you feel full quicker and you eat less. It's such a clever idea. So I'm sure I'll show you one. This is an endoscope. You're better at holding this than I am. Yes. So it's got this long uh, tube to it. And the very end, you'll have a needle that will come out, which is how you administer this. And this is actually a very small scope. It's not the usual scope you'd use because all you're gonna do is inject a little bit of this chemical. So what kind of results can you expect, you think, practically speaking? So what we've done is in our, the patients that uh, we have used this on are patients who are just moderately overweight. The patient who has, who's getting married and wants to lose 20 to 30 pounds or has a high school reunion. And uh, so we have not used this in a very obese patient. And the results are, are really satisfying. In about four to six months, these patients will lose 20 to 30 pounds. Without changing anything else, just having the Botox injected. Well, we think that it's important to change other things because the Botox, like in facial wrinkles, the effect will wear off. So we feel it's really important to modify your lifestyle. And, and so what we do is we have these patients see a nutritionist, we have them see an exercise physiologist, someone who can modify their behavior. So while the Botox is like a, a kickstart, you're changing all your other lifestyle parameters. So by the time it wears off, you're a different person. And the Botox has given you that kickstart to make this work. Let me show everyone why the Botox could work. You can grab the scope, you can, we can play along here. So if I take your stomach, a typical stomach, and I put food in your mouth, which you guys do a lot, <laughs> especially if you overeat a little bit, the stomach will absorb that food as it's supposed to. And then as your stomach begins to normally contract, which it should do, you'll begin to squeeze that food through the intestines until you get it out of your body, all the while, you are absorbing nutrients from there and calories, and you're emptying your stomach. So guess what? You get hungry and you want more food in your mouth. With the Botox, go ahead, show us where you'd inject it. This is in this, you can so put it on this side if you don't mind. Sure. So we'd inject it along the stomach all the way up this side. And this, again, will cause the muscles not to contract. And because the muscles don't contract, instead of the stomach rapidly emptying out the food that's in there, it'll sort of milk it out very, very gently, which means it stays fuller for a lot longer. And because those contractions are slowed, and because the stomach is holding food in its body for longer, you're not gonna feel hungry. That's the fundamental hope that this idea of injecting Botox in the stomach offers for us. So, Absolutely. who are the best candidates? So, I think this is an area that is still under research. Right now, we feel the best candidates are the people who are, like most viewers watching this show, a little overweight, they want to get that last 20 pounds or 30 pounds off. And uh, that's where we've had most of our success. And where can folks get the procedure done? Again, this is cutting edge, it's pretty new, it's not widely available, but I think that with time, and as we see data emerging, that we'll see more and more of this. So if you're interested, stay tuned.